A few good multi-hits in there, quick nair, a good forward air. And of course, her own projectile, that depending on what it is, can do a lot. We have combos like those. Again, a lot of quick moves that are really good to deal with Pikmin. And a lot of pressure to stop Swigzy from being able to, like, pluff more Pikmin. Like, look at this ledge trap. He caught the item, though. But he's still not out of the woods yet. Swigzy has 110 on him before Ling Ling gets more than 20. And he, he loses his stock, and Ling Ling still has only gotten hit only a few times. And most of that damage comes out of Pikmin. Like forward air takes care of the Pikmin and Swigzy. Ling Ling showing a very commanding start here. But again, Swigzy's no slouch himself. Ooh, grab barely not landing. He had the, the blue Pikmin lined up in everything. Ling Ling didn't quite land. Forcing him to up these situation. You really don't want to be against those against a character like Peach. Where you're forced to just kind of take the next punish if they know exactly what you're going to do. Especially with Olimar, you're left so vulnerable while in up you, especially, especially if you have to gain height. If you don't have to gain height, then yeah, it's not too bad because you can just nair out of it and you're pretty safe with it. But if you need to gain height on it, then yeah, you're not in the best position. You're kind of a sitting duck. Are we going to see up smash? The classic Swigzy up smash with purple Pikmin. Oh, there it is. The air smash with red Pikmin of the spot dodge. You say, I know you want to swim, but it's still my turn. He landed the Pikmin, but it didn't matter. Red Pikmin died. He landed up smash into up smash to even out the percent. Not the stock, because Ling Ling has like a full stock lead now. A few traded spot dodges and smash attacks and shield pressure, but Ling Ling comes out the victor yet again, somehow. I expect that Peach gets taken out, but Ling Ling's just spacing really, really well and not not really giving Swigzy the, the time of day to escape his current predicament. Yeah, and the back here is going to do it. Ling Ling just controlling the whole stage. Floating wherever uh, down air was. Floating and down airing immediately as soon as the opportunity arose. Getting those combos off like down air to back air we saw early in the game. Very, very good. Round two. Swigs has got to shake it off and get, make sure he's in gear to win this match because, again, losing to getting bulldozed doesn't really, it doesn't feel good and it happens, and sometimes it just happens so fast that you're like, wait, I could have done something about that. So, especially when you're a good player, right? Like, you definitely could have done something about it. Blue, white Pikmin landed but didn't quite stay. Or no, White Pikmin, did, white Pikmin didn't land, it was a Red Pikmin. Now the order's all messed up. I have no idea. I do know that Swixie's at 120. Never mind. Swixie's at zero. And Ling Ling is only at 60. Swixie's really getting chewed up by uh, Princess Peach's buttons. And I understand exactly why. A few of them are multi-hits. So, they, so they last a long time. And Peach has really, really... Uh, Peach can link combos together really easily with the turnip. And it's such good movement. She can just move wherever she wants with float. She doesn't have to use her jump to get decent movement. Her air speed's pretty good. Side B off stage. Not punished though. Still is able to make it back. Oh, he dash attacked a poke or not a Pokemon. He picked me. Very good armor to get through the uh, turn up there from Swigzy. But dash attack barely not killing. And Ling Ling's, Ling Ling's taking two stocks. He's only 81 on his first. 
sometimes these matches happen where you really just you can't figure out what the opponent's doing and you just end up losing and then when you look back at it you're like oh these were the options i had but in the moment it's just you don't notice we've all had moments like that you're like wait i should know how to get past this what's going on and it could be a, it could be a lot of a uh, whole moniker of things but well, one of them could be definitely be like nerves or a lack of out of practice with that character like not knowing how to fight against a specific character or all of their tools blue pick me up throw does kill though double dash tech landing nair turn up forwarder doesn't quite connect neither do the nairs just barely staying under Ooh, shield that shield, I thought that shield was going to break. Swigzy really putting up the best fight he can. Up there not killing. 131 on Swigzy. I mean, the game ain't over. Swigzy, Swigzy can do it. Oh, yeah. He's not coming back from that. Yep. Because even if he does, it's with up B. And even with up B... You just get nared at ledge, yeah. Ling Ling showing a very commanding understanding of how to control neutral and how to get around all of 